Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Shweta Vijay. If you're new and you're just discovering me right now, I hope to God that you will just follow me here and be a part of my family. It's a crazy space to be at. If you love makeup, fashion, cooking, a bit of traveling, then you have come to the right space. So yeah, stick around and today we are going to be talking about, like the title suggests, all about the Demi Mat, the truth and nothing but the truth. Before I start off, I hope you have watched the newest video of mine, that is the Urban Decay's uh, eyeshadow palette that's born to run, the newest baby in their collection, and oh my lord, that and the all-nighter waterproof setting powder, which is Kosher Beauty's favorite, you have to go and check it out, you guys. There's also a giveaway that's happening there. One of you lucky girls, if you comment and follow the rules, you could win a favorite Urban Decay product of my choice. What it is, you wouldn't know till I send it to you. And just like that video, this video also also has a giveaway one of you girls will win a demi matte color of your choice whatever color that you want I'll make sure that you have it all you need to do is like follow me here it's only for my followers and follow me on Instagram and on my last Insta post just say the word participate and that's more than enough so following and following I'm checking all of it so please make sure that you don't do that if you follow make sure that it is for life all right I am going to start the review right now I've got four shades and that is day slayer shaker Passion Shanista and Shiro. Okay now so let's break this down. This is the packaging. It's a transparent casing this time. Very different from her previous. I'm talking about the lip strobe. The lip strobe had got a little bit of that you know metallic sheen to it and you know the Huda Beauty liquid mask which is those liquid mats are my favorite. I mean Huda Beauty's liquid mats are one of the best liquid lipsticks I have come across. This time she has come out with a beautiful transparent packaging, uh, you know, so it's just she's got that same lips uh, icon embossed on her packaging. Uh, it's really lovely. Huda always wins when it comes to her packaging, be it, you know, the personal ones or be it the PR packaging of it. I mean, they really pay attention to detail. You slide it open right over here. The name of the lipstick is given. Yeah, you get about 3.6 ml. Okay, and this is for around 18 pounds. Now let's take the bottle out, the same glass effect kind of a bottle. I love the doe foot applicator in it. This has got a little bit of that black shading effect right to the bottle. I also loved her lip strobe. It wasn't a glossy lipstick. Lip strobes were all about those lip glosses. Now this one is a hybrid between the lip gloss and her liquid mattes. This does transfer. That's number one negative point that I have to tell you. This does transfer. If you're thinking that this is not going to transfer, then this is not the lipstick for you. This is not a permanent lipstick. What this does is it does give you a high shine. It is super bloody pigmented. One swipe and you get that full on pigment. So if you're somebody who hates liquid mattes and it's a bit too drying for you, then maybe this one is for you. It's a highly pigmented gloss. If I have to sum it up, well, yeah, that's how I would sum it up. It's been more than five minutes since I applied this and let me just show you how much it transfers. Can you see that? It transfers. But even when it transfers, it's not like you know the entire gloop comes out of your lips it transfers in a very very subtle way and it gets a little more matter and matter can you see that that shine goes the, the shine is still there but it's a lot more subtle and it's so heavily pigmented that even when it transfers you're going to have such a strong stain on your lips so it's not going to look too ugly and you don't have to touch it up so for people who love their glossy lips you are definitely going to like this another thing that you will notice is that this formula is a little bit different because it has a hint of menthol and it gives like a temporary plumping and cooling and tingling sensation and they've also added maxi lip technology apparently and it's a special ingredient that stimulates collagen and smooths and contour the lip for a 3d effect so a lot of these brands are coming up with their own lipstick and lip glosses that has got you know collagen infused in it like uh, uh, the collagen lip bath from charlotte tilbury which i absolutely love but that is like a transparent lip gloss and this one has almost the same appeal but with a lot more color it's not something that is going to hurt your lips or irritate your lips it's just going to give you that subtle pout what I thought was this was the kind of lipstick that will permanently be there on my lips and will give you that shine but it won't transfer and I thought oh my god she has actually innovated something so wonderful and it's just going to be it's going to set standards and I really thought that this is how it's going to be for a very very long time but unfortunately it doesn't 
as you can see a lot of transfer and it gets a lot more subtle and a lot more like a demi matte stage okay that's what the name goes it goes into a demi matte stage and unfortunately even the glossy sheen keeps on going after you start sipping after you start eating you will see it in the wear test if you this will give you a max of four to five hours um, and if you have something oily it's just going to go all over the place it's a good thing that she introduced a lot of nudes because when it breaks down and goes all over the place it's easier to clean than to clean really heavy colors pigmented colors like this so because this has a tendency to spread uh, it can be a little of a dicey situation especially when you're going out and there's so many nudes that will suit a fair to a medium skin tone and there are a couple of nudes that will suit the darker skin tone as well uh, though the shade variety for the fair to medium is a lot more than the darker ones so only because of the way it transfers I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 because for me a Huda Beauty's lip strobe and her liquid mattes actually lip strobe got 9 out of 10 and her liquid mattes got 10 on 10 and I've I believe that NYX is coming out with exactly the same thing for half the price. So you can either wait for NYX, uh, you know, for their launch of their Demi Mats, or you could just go for the Huda one if you're a huge fan of Hudas. The shades that I'm swatching right now are their most popular shades, excepting for one that was Mogul, which was not available. It was completely out of stock. And another one that I finally got the last piece was Sheka. It's a beautiful, beautiful color along with this. Sheka and Passionista are two colors that you have to reach out for. So if I were you and you win this giveaway, I would either pick up Sheka or Passionista because they're colors that are going to complement each and every skin tone it comes out with a lot more difficulty because of how pigmented it is let me just show you you're going to have a very subtle stain and in fact you know what I prefer this actually so this is Shiro this is going to suit a fair to a medium skin tone guys if you are a shade darker than me just even a tad bit this is going to wash you out but it is a beautiful beautiful nude this has got a hint of a peachy brown undertone while wearing these demi mattes I would also suggest you to wear a very long lasting lip liner underneath and then wear this on top of it NC42 up till NC43 44 also can carry this but even I also love this cute quirky names that she's given to the demi mats you know it's just empowering women really nice this is day slayer and in my opinion this is a lighter version of trendsetter Huda Beauty's liquid matte trendsetter this is a lighter version to it this is a nude that is also going to suit fair to a medium skin tone if you are deeper to me please just stay away from it um, this is quite light for people with deeper skin tones but it's a beautiful beautiful nude this is that nude color there is no undertone to it nothing I really like this color it is very different to any of the nudes that I have in my collection for sure but I do have to apply maybe a brown lip liner over it and I'm a medium skin tone Please keep in mind that Day Slayer is a nude lipstick that will look really beautiful once you have your makeup on. When I tried this without any makeup, without any eye makeup or foundation, it just made me look completely washed out and completely dead. This is Sheka and it is that perfect mauve pink color and it is stunning. This is going to suit each and every skin tone, especially the deeper skin tone. This is your perfect nude. If you're looking out for that pinky mauve nude, I'm talking about my dusky dark girls then this is the lipstick for you and of course the last is passionista which is my favorite color of all this is such a beautiful deep berry color very fall appropriate and it's got that purple undertones which is going to suit each and every skin tone it somehow makes your teeth look whiter the deeper your skin pigments are the better this color is going to look on you i feel the standout colors are sheka passionista and mogul so I have uh, a hair appointment right now, uh, which I'm doing for a video of mine. Stay tuned for that, but the day slayer is looking pretty all right. I had a little bit of water and it did transfer. So the time is around 2.15. I just wore this lipstick one hour ago and I shall clock in every three hours. I think that should give us a good time to suss out uh, the longevity of this lipstick. A quick update on the Demi Matte. This is Day Slayer and it has not slayed on my lips. All right. Uh, there is um, just a tiny little bit 
Uh, it's only around 4.30 actually and I did have my meal, a very oily, oily meal of junk food. It is there on my lips. It's not gone. It's not faded away completely. It is 7.30 right now and I think I want to just take this one off. Uh, it's pretty all right. Uh, it has sustained from one o'clock to about seven. I would say there is a lot of transfer. A lot, a lot of transfer. So yeah, that shine and that gloss appeal to it has completely disappeared from the lips. So that's it. That's the wear test and we shall get back to the video. So guys, you saw the wear test right now and I wore it at one o'clock. It's sustained till around 637. And though Day Slayer is a very light color, it you could still see a little bit of the pigmentation on my lips, which is pretty decent, you know? So yeah, that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Do leave your feedback in the comment section, follow the rules, participate in the giveaway, and I shall see you when I see you. Bye for now.